the gang and my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci. April 29, 2020 was a typical stormy morning across the southern U.S. Thunderstorms rumbled from Dallas to Memphis and sagged towards the Gulf Coast. Then at 14.32 Universal Time, just after 9.30 a.m. Central Time, something shocking happened. A brilliant flash of lightning illuminated the skies over Houston, Texas. The skies were also blazed over Jackson, Mississippi. Believe it or not, it was the same channel of electricity. It turned out to be a lightning flash some 477 miles long. The culprit was no ordinary bolt of lightning. It was a mega flash, essentially lightning on steroids. Mega flashes can feature channels of electricity propagating for 10 seconds or more, spanning hundreds of miles and occupying an area as large as the state of Florida. They may also be hundreds of times brighter than an average lightning strike. But how do these monsters form? We have to examine the dimensions of lightning. You see, most thunderstorms are less than 10 miles tall. That sort of caps how big cloud to ground lightning is. Even positive lightning strikes, which are 3 to 100 times more powerful than average lightning and often shoot out the top of an anvil cloud, rarely are longer than 12 miles. That's why we need to discuss horizontal propagation. When individual thunderstorm updraft cells merge, they can form a cluster or a line that may stretch hundreds or even thousands of miles in length. That allows a spark to leap for hundreds of miles. As long as there's a sufficient electric field, there's nothing really to say a lightning channel can't spider through an entire cloud horizontally. We call these anvil crawlers or intracloud lightning. Mega flashes accompany mesoscale convective systems or large sprawling thunderstorm complexes that might occupy several states at once. Those are the large scale disturbances in the late spring or early midsummer that generate the electric field imbalance that's needed to be on the scale of a mega flash. Now, atmospheric dynamicists have long since theorized about the existence of mega flashes, but confirming them was very difficult. Conventional lightning tracking systems use a network of ground-based sensors to triangulate the location of a cloud-to-ground lightning strike by registering its electromagnetic field. Mega flashes need to be seen from above, though. Enter the GOES East Weather Satellite, which was launched on November 19, 2016. Goes west soon followed suit. The pair peer down at the western hemisphere in the Americas from 22,236 miles above, and they capture images every two milliseconds, meaning resolution of 500 frames per second. An instrument on board, each called the Geostationary Lightning Mapper, can detect lightning through the infrared light it emits. Until then, we didn't have a really good catalog of events. Sure, there were a couple satellites that could try to log mega flashes, but most had a very narrow field of view and poor temporal resolution. Nowadays, we can spot events over North and South America. Europe and Asia will be rolling out similar satellites soon, so we'll probably see more mega flashes. Unfortunately, that'll still leave coverage gaps in lightning-rich places like Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Australia. We have seen a few massive mega flashes in the past five years. One on October 23, 2017 spanned more than 300 miles between Thackerville, Oklahoma, north of the Red River, and Burlington, Kansas. That illuminated an area four times larger than the state of Connecticut. The newly confirmed WMO record beats out a 440 mile long mega flash that satellites detected over southern Brazil on Halloween of 2018. Brazil tends to see very impressive mesoscale convective systems giving rise to these mega flashes. The organization also certified a record long duration lightning flash over Uruguay in Argentina on June 18, 2020. It flickered for 17.1 seconds. That surpassed the 16.73 second strike over northern Argentina on March 4, 2019. Most scientists believe we're only beginning to discover how big mega flashes can get. With more years of data to come and a broader area that will soon be surveyed, some think the sky's the limit. Literally. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android. Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.